Alrighty folks, we got the Fujifilm 16mm f1.4 for the Fujifilm X-T5. I've reviewed this lens before, but that was years ago and that was with the 24 to 26 megapixel sensor. And looking back at that old video the other day, I was quite cringy, like Jesus Christ, guy! I can't believe you guys listened to that dude right here, man. I'm gonna do none of that sharpness test bow jive shit. Uh, we're going to talk about my user experience with this lens, uh, what I used it for, and who is this lens for. So let's begin. Now I know some folks out there are curious about how this lens performs on the 40 megapixel sensor. So st now stick around to hear what I have to say about this lens now that I have some time using it on my X-T5. So I took this lens to uh, Spain, used it in Sevilla for the ultra wide shots and I thought it was great. It captured all the nooks and crannies in the small European alleys that you see often in European cities. While I was in Spain for the weekend, uh, I did notice one thing, that this lens is huge. I don't remember this lens being this big when I first started using it. However, things change, my needs change over the years, and now I find this lens to be quite big for what it is. It has a 67 millimeter filter thread. So you can see how big this lens is already. I was walking around town with this lens and I did notice that the hand fatigue started to kick in uh, paired with the Fujifilm X-T5. It's uh, bigger than the XF 23 millimeter. It's bigger than my 23 and my 33 in the girth department. It's a little bit girthier than the, lens, the lenses that I mentioned. And for me, it kind of made it unwieldy for like street photography and travel photography, like what I was using it for, like, you know, just walking around the city and, you know, just taking like interesting pictures. Uh, the aperture dial is a bit loose for my liking. You also have the focusing clutch right here. You, you pull this up and then it becomes an auto focusing lens and then you pull it down and then it becomes a manual focusing lens. Speaking of autofocus, I feel this is where the uh, these old lenses are a bit slow. Single point AF, you can expect like quick and snappy results, but AFC is where it suffers. It gets confused on who to track when there are many people in the frame since this is a wide angle lens. And using an autofocusing continuous, I find the images to have an incomplete feel to it. I, because it always struggled to acquire focus, it legit grinds its motor and it stutters a lot. Uh, when when there's a lot going in the scene and I just feel like when you press the shutter You're not going to get like the sharp result uh, the sharp result and it always felt like it wants to get sharp But it doesn't acquire that focus like quick enough before I press the shutter and that could be one reason But another reason is that this lens doesn't resolve the 40 megapixel sensor that well So I feel like it's a mixture of both these things so that leads us into image quality, guys. Like, I remember this lens being a really good performer on the X-H1 and the X-T3. Basically anything that is not the X-H2 and the X-T5. Looking at the images now, it does sort of suffer the same fate that the XF 35mm. It does suffer from softness issue wide open. And actually, I think I like the XF 35mm a bit better because it holds its sharpness a little bit better than this lens right here. Uh, even though the 35 has some issues, I feel like the XF 35mm uh, is much more valuable to me because I can still shoot portraits with it and it still gives me a decent result and I still like that look. However, when I shot wide open with the 16 millimeter and I start to zoom in, it has that painterly feel, a painterly look to it. And uh, it looks like the subjects has been just smeared all over on some of these images. And I don't like that. And if you uh, zoom in, you're gonna see that there is a little bit of halation and then around the corners, you're gonna see details just break down and it just looks completely soft. There are some images that I took, well, you know, and I went, oh wow, that, this, this looks great. But upon further inspection, like zooming into like 100% or 200%, you can see that this lens does a poor job at resolving this 40 megapixel sensor. You're not gonna get sharpness from this lens. It's not like um, other lenses like the 56 millimeter F1.2 WR or the new XF 23 millimeter F1.4 WR LM, which those lenses can resolve the 40 megapixel sensor. So I was comparing an image shot on the 56 millimeter and I just saw a lot more detail. I just saw more sharpness, more resolution, just everything just looks great and this lens does not have it. I was looking back and forth to see if I was, if my eyes were playing tricks on me. And yeah, this lens, no, 
doesn't have it. For portrait photography, it's the same thing. I was shooting around f8 and the images I got wasn't up to par. I was quite disappointed because I know what this lens is capable of on the older gen cameras. All I can do is just feel sorry for this lens because it really feels like it's on its last leg, you know? I don't know if you guys watch pro wrestling, but the analogy that I can use is this. You have this one favorite wrestler growing up and his name is Jeff Hardy. Uh, this dude would impress you with his like high flying performances, right? He took some crazy bumps back in the early 2000s, 30 feet in the air holding onto the belt, and then Edge speared him from a ladder. That was like insane to see. But now when you see him wrestling, he's a little bit older, He's a little bit slower and he just doesn't move the same. And sometimes when you see him do a move, he'll like trip and stumble because he's just so old. And then you just see all these like video clips, video clips of him just um, fucking up. And you're just like, Jeff, what the hell are you doing? Just retire already. Like, goddamn, man, it's so sad to see. And that's exactly how I feel about this lens right here because it doesn't hit the same now on the X-T5 because it's, it just feels like it's old and it's sluggish and it doesn't perform as well as it should be. Speaking of older gen cameras, have no fear, this lens will perform really well. But now you're just kind of stuck because you won't be able to use it on the 40 megapixel sen uh, sensor cameras. And I think that's why Fujifilm made the 18 millimeter f1.4 WRLM to replace this lens. I doubt they are ever going to give us an updated version of this uh, 16 millimeter focal length in an f1.4 version. Does anyone know if, they're, they're, if there's a Mark II in their future plans? Let me know because I don't think that's going to be the case with the 18 millimeter f1.4. To me, even though I stopped down to like f8, f9, it doesn't want to get sharp it doesn't get as sharp as i wanted to so the image quality on the 40 megapixel uh reminds me of something like an old vintage manual lens so in a way if you uh, shift your mindset uh, in that sense then it may not be so bad for you you know like i'm just looking at this like half glass full here <laughs> it's not all bad there are certain shots where i think this like okay this is a decent enough shot but with the 40 megapixel sensor it seems like all the characteristics and all the flaws are more amplified now but again i en i enjoy this focal length i enjoy the process of using this focal length however the image quality on the 40 megapixel sensor leaves little to be desired maybe i'll get like a 16 millimeter f 2.8 anyone try that lens is that lens good does it perform well on the X-T5? Because, because being able to use this lens, uh, again, reminded me that I really enjoyed using this focal length. Uh, I don't need the F1.4 for my travel stuff. So I'm just, I feel like I'm better off getting like something smaller like the F2.8 version. But for me, as it stands right now, this lens cannot resolve the 40 megapixel sensor as well as I thought. So I deem that this is not worth it if you have an X-T5 or an X-H2. The bulk and the size along with its weak autofocusing makes me not want to put this lens on the X-T5. But I did say that I really liked using this lens on the X-H1 a few years back. It was awesome back then and it still stands uh, stand true to this day. You're going to be fine if uh, you have any X camera that is not the X8, X-T5 and X-H2. What are your thoughts on the 16 millimeter F1.4? Do you have it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you used it on the X-H2 or the X-T5? Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're interested in this lens, I'll leave the links down in the description and consider subscribing for more Fuji content. Thanks so much.